So now let's add a um, let's say panorama window, big real window, um, which is modeled into the mesh. Let's go to the edit mode again for this reason, and let's say uh, let's uh, select face selection, face select mode, and let's choose where we want to have our window. That depends uh, on your personal choice, of course. Um, if you want to do more windows, you maybe should something uh, took something like this and this. I will just model one one panorama window, and I will choose this uh, face. To do so, uh, so for this re reason, I will uh, just select this. Um, oh, wait a moment! This is a very flat uh, face, actually. So let's select um, something with an angel like this, so that it um, looks e even cooled. Here, it would look like a, you know, just a hole. Uh, so let's uh, press the X key while the face is selected and l and just delete it. Because of our mirroring, we have the same hole here too. And what we can see immediately is that the uh, hole has not the rectangle surface like we uh, modeled it actually. That's again because of the surfaces. To avoid that, let's select edge selection and let's select all of these edges. You can either select them one by one or select them with, with Alt all at once. Then press w, the W key on the keyboard to subdivide this. and Let's do it. Uh, you see that. Let's go to vertex mode to see all the vertices which um, we now added. Actually, we added this, 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 and this one. And if we do it again, we have even more vertices. You see the su surface already, subsurface here already uh, is, is better than before. It is not so rounded anymore. But we want to have it even uh, more perfect. So let's select one of these edges, edge vertices, and let's. Um, put our 3D cursor on it by pressing Shift S and select and select a uh, selection cursor, no uh, cursor to select it. So you see the 3D cursor is now exactly on this vertex, and now we will um, um, put these neighboring vertices closer to the um, vertex which we uh, put our 3D um, cursor on. Now let's. Um, change the pivot point of everything we do to the 3D cursor. That's the purpose why we set it there. If you now do something like a rotation, uh, everything will rotate around this pivot point. Uh, what we want to do is just scale them down so so that the uh, vertices come closer to the one with the 3D cursors on it. But we will not do it like this. We'll do it by pressing S and then zero dot. Uh, let's say 2, so that we can have the same values in on each of these vertices. So let's put our CD cursor here, now cursor to select it, and let's do the same with these vertices, and again, duck, duck. So now we have the shape like we modeled it. No, uh, real rectangle shape. Um, now let's select all of the, these uh, vertices again, all of these edges of this rectangle, um, in edge mode. Actually you can do that in vertex mode too, but um, you will have it easier by, um, the, by the material selection if you use edge selection. Uh, well, let's go to upper mode and um, let's don't f don't forget to switch back to median point. Now we want since we want to scale it down now and uh, median again, according to the uh, median again. So let's um, press scale again and hold the shift key to have fine movement and just scale it down a little bit. Oh, oh sorry, I forgot to extrude it before scaling it. So now I extruded it. Press the S key and scale it down. Scale it down a little bit. So let's see how it looks here. Yeah, it's exactly in a little bit more maybe. Oh. Okay, that's it. And let's uh, increase also uh, decrease also its height a little bit. So by pressing the grab key and then the Z key and just moving it a little bit down so that we have a nice rounding shape here. Let's see. 
because of the subsurface. And then, actually, let's continue by pressing the Z key or the Z key. I don't know how it is called. I should know that, but I don't. Well, whatever. Uh, let's extrude that again and just move it somewhere here. Um, we can see that this um, part is now completely inside uh, the mesh. If we go to uh, object mode again, we can't see it. That's exactly like we wanted. So, but um, it's still not completely like we want, since we want, since this is uh, very, um, this is the angel here is not like we want it. It's, it is just derived from the angel here, but we want um, wanted to have them to be a little bit more straight. For this reason, we can do several things. Um, maybe the most easy way is just to go to this view that you have an orthogonal view on the view and rotate it here like that. So now of course its um, height here is too much so that it looks out here a little bit and which really looks ugly. Of, but of course we will uh, correct that by just scaling it down again and moving it a little bit down to maybe this was too much. Um, let's let's put it on somewhere like here so that it is still still visible. And let's see. Yeah. You know. Okay. Okay. Let's stay in this view here. Okay. And here we can look on it directly. So we should um, scale it up here a little bit. Uh, um, no, not like that. Uh, actually, we can do it like that, just so that just the x-axis is um, scaled. But the problem here is that it also rotates while we are doing that because uh, the, the x-axis of this rectangle is not the x-axis of the world coordinate system. But we can repair that immediately by just rotating it that back how we want it. So, um, but actually more... No, no, it's okay. Um, but the z-axis or the axis should be corrected too. And then, again, since we want a sharp angel now here... Um, oops. Uh, we have to execute it again and just move it a little bit like that and scale it down a little, 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 little bit to have a rounded edge there. And then actually we can choose this material, why it is called just material, didn't we call it white light. But actually <coughs> let's assign a new, um, a new uh, material slot and a new material to that and let's call it window light. Maybe we want to change this light afterwards to another light. That's why I'm doing that. So let's choose a right here too and this should be an emitting uh, material too. Okay. And now, because we have selected edge selection, if we extrude, uh, when we extrude these edges, the material will be automatically oops, extrude and scale it like that. I uh, will automatically have this material. So extrude again, scale zero, and then we have to go back to edge uh, vertex mode to remove all these vertices here. Again, by pressing the W key and saying remove doubles. So now we have a flat window here, which is inside our model, which looks quite quite good, I think. So let's smooth it again. Okay. So, then we fulfilled at a real big window, let's say panorama window, window to the surface of the ship, and now let's render it by targeting the camera camera on our ship, or to be more precise, to by tar uh, by targeting to it, uh, it to an empty. The reason why we target it to an empty is, or uh, maybe I should explain a little bit more. Um, to add an empty, actually, we just use the add function like we used it before and choose empty. Now we have an empty here which is not rendered and, and not visible 
when you render when, when you render it. And this is the cam, you can just move it exactly and rotate it and blah, exactly like everything else. But now we want to um, let our camera target on this empty. This we can just do by pressing the camera button uh, ca and by selecting the camera with the right mouse button and by shift selecting the empty and then with Control T you can just um, direct, uh, you and select direct the constraint and the camera will always uh, follow this empty. Of course we could have um, um, targeted the camera to the object itself too but then we are not so flexible by moving our camera so just choose where the camera should point at. Now our empty is below our mesh so we c uh, it will be difficult to select it afterwards so just uh, increase its height a little bit so this is visible. Um, now if you press the zero key on the number um, number keys on the keyboard you will see what your camera sees and we see that we just see a little bit of our ship so we will just um, increase uh, the distance between the camera and the uh, obje uh, and object and we should also maybe no not uh, yeah so but uh, the angel should maybe a little bit more and then we see that this location is not so perfect since we have an empty area here and uh, um, here uh, um, yeah, we don't have empty area so let's um, make it like that. Then we have the empty again below our mesh but it's okay since we can um, just um, select it if we press the set key or um, make that or let just uh, 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 the whole stuff hide whatever. So it's not so bad. Uh, it's still tutorial 1b and we actually did everything which we want. Let's render the final result of tutorial 1b. Yeah, that's it. Since this, let's at least take this lamp. Of course we had to optimize a lot with the lightning here and uh, put the texture on it, but for the first part I think it's quite good. Thank you for your attention.